coming today in 90s cardigan style for, I'm not gonna say our last 90s Swamp Family male unboxing, but the next one is definitely going to be a normal Swamp Family male unboxing. But I have this gigantic 90s box. I, there's no way I can pick it up. Let me go ahead and show it to you guys. It is a, I've, I don't, I think this is the biggest box I've ever had sent to my P.O. box. It is an 18 by 18 by 24 box. Nowhere on the box does it say like 90s mystery box or whatever, but it is addressed to Graveyard Girl, 90s mystery girl. I have been dying to know what is in this box. And I don't know if we're going to unbox other 90s boxes in this video or if it's just going to take a super long time to go through this one alone. I don't know if it's gonna be one giant item, if it's gonna be a bunch of tiny items. So let's just dig in because I've got the mail. The mail, the sassy mail. The sassy mail. Oh my God, did I kind of clap and sing at the same time? I'm gonna be cutting the box open with scissors because I can't find any of my giant knives. I feel like this is gonna be the tamest slicing there's ever been. I don't know what this is gonna be. It could be, you know what? I guess that's actually a, an 80s thing where it's like, my buddy. Wasn't there like a my buddy and a kid's sister and it's like what um, Chucky was based off of? Was like the my buddy doll? Or am I just making this up? I wish I could find more like outfits like this too. Oh my gosh. I will never forget the day that I got this from the thrift store. It only cost like a dollar and I, I love it. I'm all about it. Okay, you know what? I'm going to show you guys what I'm opening at the same time I'm opening it. So it's like a conjoined experience. That's not what I, I can't say anything right today. Let's open it up. Opening the box, the gigantic box, the very heavy giant box. What if it's something like really scary? Why Why do I have genuine fear now opening this? It's not that scary. There's a lot of paper. Read first. Let's follow the instructions for once in my life. Notice, I hope you open this on camera because it would be so much fun for the Swamp Family to see. I agree. Okay. Hello Bunny, Merry Christmas. It definitely did arrive before Christmas. Happy Holidays, my name is Joanna and I'm 23 and I live in Missouri with my husband, Tim. We saw your 90s mystery unboxing and thought what happened to you was terrible. Mostly because of the mold and other stuff on the items that is disgusting. Oh, and they said that they support how I chose to handle things with the seller. Thank you so much. So she thought why not send a good big box of 90s-ish stuff. So they're saying also some things might be from the late 80s, early 2000s. Don't read the next part until you've opened all the items so the surprises won't be ruined. All right, let's dig in. I'm very excited, so excited. Lots of paper, 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 lots of... Ooh, this isn't paper. It's actually kind of like a filmy substance. Amazing. Ooh, this one says open last. All right. Um, I'm following all the instructions today. Scoop! Let's open this thing because it looks like it has arms. Hello, nice to meet you. Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay, this, I don't, I don't know what it is, but this just looks so helpful to me. Oh, it's a scooter board. Oh, I smell a concoction. I thought I could sit on this and roll around as I film videos. Let's try that out. I do remember these though. I remember this being a thing. Okay, join me on the floor. You don't have much wiggle room in here, honestly, but we got a little bit so I can scoot. Scoot with me, scoot with me, scoot. Ooh, this is fun. Look, this is like, danger. Danger! I'm being so dramatic. It's it's really fun. It's delightful. 10 out of 10. Would recommend. It's something that I would just film a video and then just like slide back and forth. We are having an amazing time so far. I thought for some reason that it was like something to scoot things with. Do you know what I'm saying? Like if a box was too heavy, you could like put it on top of this and like slide it for your convenience. Do you know what I mean? All right, next thing. Paper, paper, paper. Ooh. Uh. 
gratifying. Ooh, look at this paper. That's amazing. That's amore. What is that from? Or is it just like a song that people sing? Is it, is it a folk song? I almost dropped it. Scissors, like a decent person. Ooh, what is this? Oh, this is fun. Oh my gosh, I feel like I should like make gifts for you guys, like little Swamp Family 90s bags, like goodie bags. I feel like there's enough to share here because look at this. It's like a whole bag of those really cool pens where you pick the different colors, you like slide them down and now you can write in green. These write quite nicely. Then you like would release that color and pick a different color. Let's go with orange. I want to share the love. I feel like next time I do a 90s unboxing, I should make a couple little like gift bags to share with you guys because we also have these which are fun for the whole fam they are sometimes i give these away at halloween and i love these things i don't remember what they're called like eye poppers or something but they are these fun little toys do you guys remember these from my halloween giveaway videos sometimes so you flip them inside out and you set them down and they do that and it startles you. It's an adrenaline rush, but it's fun. Let's do it again. <laughs> Every time. Every time it gets me. Scoops. Scoops. But once again, there's like a dozen in here, I think. So I should I should share the magic. Oh my gosh. This is my new little buddy. Can I name him Bubbles? Wasn't that Michael Jackson's monkey's name? Is Bubbles still with us? Is this monkey called Bubbles? It's called Mooch. I wanna call it Bubbles. His birthday is August 1st, 1998. Our birthdays are only like two days apart. Look in the treetops, up towards the sky, swinging from branches way up high. Tempt him with a banana or fruit when he's hungry. He acts so cute. Fruit and cute do rhyme. Let's have a monkey on our shoulder. There was one time when Dogman and I were considering getting a monkey. Up next, we've got something else that I feel like I should share with the Swamp Band because look at how amazing these are. These are slap bracelets and I am loving the design right on the top, but I can tell there's a bunch of different designs. I'm seeing like all the different colors. Happy faces, yes. Uh, we have rainbow hearts in the clouds, yes. We have, oh, snow people. All right, uh, poop with heart eyes. Yes, uh, oh, we have an authentic fashion accessory. I'm gonna wear that every day and I'm not even joking. This is like my favorite print right now. This is amazing. Okay, we've got slap bracelets enough to share with everyone. Um, that reminds me of, ooh. These are like hair ties and bracelets. But look at these, I love these things. They look like the old tiny telephone cords. Do you know what I mean? Like when phones used to not be cordless. There have recently been a couple of brands that sell these as hair ties and I love them as both hair ties and fashion accessories multi-purpose okay up next we have oh my gosh this is magical this is a blockbuster toy from 1998 i know the cringe will be strong when i open this but i'm gonna open it because it's freaking kermit the frog i cannot resist i love kermit the frog and look at him he's like a little plushy washy he's flat He's so cute. He's got little frog feet. And what was this for? Muppet stars dressed for opening night. Collect all four. Collect all four while supplies last at the Blockbuster Play Pack. Oh my gosh, Blockbuster. I think I just saw an article that said the last Blockbuster in Texas just closed down the other day, which makes me sad. We have a, another cute, adorable Beanie Baby. This one is a tie 
2000 and it's a cute little bunny named Grace. That is very adorable. And we have another Beanie Baby and this is just perfect for my life because it's an alligator. I'm trying to remember what his name is. I think it's like Swampy. That would be very fitting. Swampy. Oh my god. He fits. He fits! Okay, we of course have to read the alligator poem. It is... <clears throat> oh, he's born January 24th, 2000. Oh my god, we just missed your birthday! Through the murky swamps I glide, my yellow eyes I try to hide. I drift as silent as a log, a friend to you and every frog. He's so cute! Oh my gosh, these games that are so much fun and impossible to win uh do you guys remember these little water games i'm like desperately trying to hold on to this alligator on my shoulder it's very important that he stay just just right there do you guys remember these things so they are these little water games and you push these two buttons at the bottom and the goal is to try and get all of the rings on these little plastic spikes. There were a bunch of different themes for these. Like sometimes it would be like little miniature basketballs that you would have to get through these little plastic hoops. But I mean, honestly, is it just me or do these things still just amuse everyone? So close to being able to go dun da da da. Oh, <gasps> I did it. Look, 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 oh, look quickly before they fall off. Dun -da -da -da! Congratulatory sippy sippy. We have, oh my gosh, I talk about these all the time. Most delicious ever. It is a Fred Flintstone push up magnet. You guys keep telling me that these push up pops do still exist. They are like delicious ice cream sherbet pops, but y'all just say that they don't use the Flintstones anymore as the character, which I guess makes kind of sense. Nobody knows what the Flintstones are anymore. Ooh, what is this? <gasps> oh my gosh, it's just what I need today. It's a box cutter, but look at this one. This, it comes on like a bungee cord. It's orange and black. It's perfect for Halloween. Halloween is only like 280 days away. Oh, look at that. And it'll like clip to the pocket. Look at this. I feel like I can use this and like call for backup and be like, hey, okay, don't do that. I'm just kidding. But like, look, doesn't that, it, I feel like I could be a Jedi now. It's like I've got, shwa, shwa. Like, do you know what I mean? Ooh, we've got a box. Wait, let's test this out. Calling for reinforcements. Um, ooh, look at that cut. Yes. Let's find out what's in this box. We've got plastic wrap. Ooh, we've got a kush ball. Look at the colors. I'm really liking it. Look at that. Ooh, ah, I'm so good. The Olympics are coming. Somebody recruit me on their professional kush juggling team. Oh, that was a short-lived Olympic career. <gasps> oh my gosh, I remember these too. Oh my god, I was like, what's Opanado Tor? I'm just reading Pet Tornado upside down. I was literally like, what is Opanwandut? Ah, how do I do it? Oh, there we go. There we go. We got a pet tornado. Oh, their little lives are so short. We just had so many tornadoes when we had Hurricane Harvey last year. It was terrifying, but I'm okay with a pet tornado. Amusing, I'm loving it. And we have an original Slinky. <sighs> slinky ASMR, is that a thing? I feel like this is a very pleasant and comforting noise. Extreme slinking, a skill. Did anybody else ever take these and jump rope with them? Because that's what I did. I feel like that's probably why I busted like a hundred slinkies in my lifetime. We got another box, which means we need a box cutter. Ooh, we've got an extra sketch. Oh my gosh. Oh 
this is amazing. I haven't had one of these in so long. I just noticed it says as seen on TV on the back. That's amazing. This is like a two in one video now. Love the sound of these things. Do you guys ever see the people that like really in all seriousness can do the actual artwork on these? I wish I could even write Swamp Family. I just like to like do the same shape over and over and over again. I like to draw one shape and then like draw it smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Let's erase it and start over again. Ooh, look at that. Tabula rasa. We got a nice clean slate. We have another box. Let's open it. I'm trying to get it out. Oh, okay. Um, what? Oh my God. It's a freaking Stretch Armstrong. I miss my Stretch Armstrong so much. And look at that, we're reunited. You can tie him up in knots. Do weird things to Stretch Armstrong that shouldn't ever be done to a human being ever. And then there was Vac-Man, which I also had that was Stretch Armstrong's enemy. He looked like a big red monster. Oh my God, I love Stretch Armstrong. Mine died because I put him in the garage and all his skin got gross and all of his oozy slime started spilling out. You know what channel I like to watch is What's Inside? I think it was last year they cut open a Stretch Armstrong and it was basically like slime is inside. Oh my gosh, I forgot. There's like a magical weight to Stretch Armstrong, but I was always scared of like stretching him too much, you know, cause I always like, I never wanted to break my toys. And so I was like, how much can you stretch Stretch Armstrong before you cause him irreparable harm? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that, you got your funky legs. Oh my gosh. Look to the left. Now look to the right. Now punch. Oh, hello buddy. <sighs> He's so cool. Oh my gosh. Reunited and it feels so good. Reunited with Stretch Armstrong. I just realized how weird it is though that he's just not wearing any clothes. They were like, nah, yeah, just, he just needs a loincloth. Ooh, this one's a hefty one. Hefty. Ooh, what is this? We've got denim. We've got two things. Oh, what is that? Oh my God, it's Jinko jeans. Oh, shut up. Oh my God, I know they just made a comeback too. And I could not be happier about the Jinko jeans. You guys, oh my God, please let these fit me. It's a size three. There is promise. These are new? What? Okay, freaking Jinko jeans. Oh, my day has been made. Look at that, look at that. It's so fashionable. I am gonna seriously, in all seriousness, wear these, no doubt. Look at this design. This is fabulous, okay. Wide leg Jinko jean pants. They've got this gorgeous red and white squiggly stripe. Do you know what this is gonna go great with? My Spice Girls tank top. Oh my God, I am so excited. These are so gonna fit. I am ready. I'm ready for the party. I'm ready to wear my Jinko jeans. Oh my God, it's more Jinko. I was like, why does this mammoth look so familiar? I think that's their little logo. It's just gorgeous blue Jinko jeans. Oh my God, wait, can these be for Dogman? I think that these are men's because they're a size 38. Oh my God, can we be the couple that wears Jinko together? Look at these. These are amazing. I hope these are gonna fit him. I think that they will. Jinko mammoth jeans. Oh my God, Jinko jeans. Jinko jeans. Scoot. Okay, okay. We got something in paper. Um, it feels like a calendar, but it says book. Okay. Oh, I like that paper too. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have thrown it. Ugh, it kind of makes me feel like Christmas. Well, clearly this was like for Christmas. Um, I'm like missing all the Christmas decorations this year. Oh my God. This is amazing. I feel like this is like a collection of all the things that I love and I have to sneeze. Oh. Do you guys 
see what this is. The true story of the three little pigs. Did any of you guys remember this book because I loved it so much. I can't even tell you guys the number of times that I read this. I used to think that all this art looked so cool. I think that this was the same artist that did uh, the Stinky Cheese Man and other tales. Do you guys remember that as well? Just look at the detail of the piggy's chin hairs. It's amazing. I love this one. We've got another box. I think we have two little boxes left. This is not little. This is in fact enormous and heavy. But we have this one and then we have this, which I have no idea what this can be. It's a funky shaped box and it says open last. Let's open this. Ooh, what? Oh my God. You guys don't know. You guys don't know how much I always wanted one of these and I never had one. I'm kind of like moved to tears. Do you guys remember hit clips? I always wanted hit clips and I never had one. So this is like way before like iPods and MP3 players and you would get these little hit clips keychains and you would have all these freaking hit clips. And this one is a Simpsons one. I am literally living for this. So they're each like a minute long and you would just clip this and you would bring it around and you would listen to it. And I remember everybody had these at school and I never had one. Um, we're going to cut it open. I know that that's a capital sin. I know that I shouldn't be doing it, but how else are we going to decorate the hit clips machine with these amazing yin yang stickers? If we don't open it, there's no way. Um, also I'm kind of wondering if the batteries inside will still work. We've got a Will Smith hit clip. Just look at how cool this looks. It's amazing. It's like a cell phone charm and a keychain and everything all in one. Oh my God. This is the most amazing pack of stickers. Look at it. It's got monsters. There's like Dracula, Frankenstein, the mummy, Frankenstein's monster. I know anytime I say Frankenstein, everybody tells me it's actually Frankenstein's monster. Like romantic literature is pretty much the only thing I avidly studied. So I know we're going to plug it in. Additional hit packs to collect Britney Spears, NSYNC, Backstreet Boys, Sugar Ray, Destiny's Child, O-Town, Elvis Presley? Shut up. Well, we all know I'm going to eBay after this. If I could find freaking Elvis hit clips. No, oh my God, this is amazing. It said people of Springfield, so it's just literally. This is. Let's put in Homer. I hope you guys wanted a 30 minute video just about hit clips. in a box. I loved these books. Bonicula meets Edgar Allan Crowe. Bonicula strikes again. Return to Holiday Inn. Nighty Nightmare. Oh my god, we got more hit clips. Shut up. Oh my god, it's the meme song. I'm seriously, I'm just like literally living for the fact that I now have hit clips in my life. Whoa, what is this? Oh my God, I never had one of these either. I never had a talk boy or a talk girl and I wanted one. Every year Dogman and I watch like every Home Alone ever made. So this is actually like a different version that I've never seen. This is amazing. It's called the talk boy shock rocker rap maker no okay let's see if there's like a battery oh. we might have to get batteries for this bad boy unfortunately i do need a little miniature screwdriver which i don't have at the mom but i'm gonna like set this aside i'm gonna i'm gonna use this in the next video i cannot wait to see 
what these do. I think you can actually like shake it or something. It says that there's like motion. Just look at this. Okay, this is like clearly aesthetic goals. I'm sad that this is coming to a close. Oh my God, we've got some movies in here. We've got DVDs. We've got the Mask of Zorro. Oh, look at that. It's a... Uh... I can't think of his real name. The guy that eats people. And we have, oh my gosh, we have, as told by Ginger, Far From Home. This is, this, I wanted to say it was freaking, uh, the Wild Thornberries. I'm gonna love it. Oh my gosh, we have some Mr. Sketch original scented markers. We've got mint, licorice, cinnamon, banana, orange, grapefruit punch. Ooh, I wanna smell the fruit punch. I love fruit punch. Ooh, that is Hawaiian punch and it smells delightful. Do you wanna smell it? I wanna smell mint. I love mint smelling things. Ooh, refreshing. Last thing in this box is so magical. I feel like we should have a riveting game. I feel like this could be a whole nother video. I never had this and I'm living for it. I feel like Dogman and I should have a gator golf competition. So that's literally what this is. Do you guys, did you guys ever have this? I did not. And I'm sad I never had this. I never had this and I never had elephant either. Do you guys remember it was like a little elephant and it shot out the butterflies somehow and you would catch them with a net. But this always looked like so much fun. Like look at that little gator. He's perfect for the swamp fam. I just need to draw some little wings on him. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. We are at the open last item. Any guesses on what this could be? I have no idea. It's kind of lightweight. What's in here? I hope it's not breakable. Uh, open last, I'm following instruction. Oh my God, I seriously might cry. I feel like I'm tearing up. Oh my God. Dude, this is a reunited and it feels so good moment. Oh my God, I lost mine and I, oh my God. Oh, y'all are gonna kill me when I take this out of the box. <laughs> Who's gonna kill me? Just show of hands, show of hands. Who's gonna kill me? I. I am so in love with this. I can't even explain. I had this doll when I was a kid. I think it came out in like 1988. And I was obsessed with Beetlejuice. Like, I think we went to go see Beetlejuice for my dad's birthday the year that it came out in the movie theater. And it was like one of those experiences where when I was in the movie theater, it terrified me. And then the minute that they took me out of the theater because I was too scared, I was so into it. And then I was just obsessed. I wanted all the Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice toys. I wanted to like watch it over and over. Uh, I think we got it on VHS. Oh my God, this is just amazing. It's a talking doll. It's a talking Michael Keaton Beetlejuice doll. Look at the whole sassiness of the box. It's, I feel like it's really hard and it's really rare to find these in a box anymore, but I have to take it out. I just, I can't. I, I have to show you guys the head spinning action. And honestly, I'm just gonna put him on my nightstand and he's my buddy. So I'm sorry. I know it's a collector's item. I would never part with this anyway. Do you know what I'm saying? Like this is sent Swamp Family Mail with Swamp Family Love. Like why would I get rid of this? Do you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't. Um, so yes, it's a collector's item. I'm sure it's worth money. I'm sure if I was gonna like resell it or something like that, it would be worth money. Once again, I would never do that. Uh, so in my mind, there's really like no point to keep it in the box. Um, so we're gonna take it on the box and we're gonna have fun and I'm gonna enjoy it. And I'm sorry if it's like bugging people out. Plus I feel like I'm being like moderately careful. Like I'm not gonna throw this box away. I will put this in my closet. So I'm just like trimming the things off the back. So, I mean, if I ever wanted to put it back in the box again, which, you know, to each their own. If you're a box person and you wanna keep things in a box, I hope they're not mad at me. I hope nowhere in the letter does it say don't cut it out of the box. <laughs> I just wanna see if his head still spins. Cause I know, I, I remember that. I don't know what happened to mine. I also had, a, these things were really big in the 80s where for each like popular movie and popular show they would come out with these really big 
awesome talking dolls. I could make a whole video just about this. And I had the Pee Wee one and I still have him. I feel like I put him on Snapchat creepily enough all the time because the voice box is kind of warped. It doesn't sound normal anymore. And I had the Beetlejuice one and oh my God. I mean, he's just in perfect condition. This is like, okay. Some things you don't ever forget. Look at this. This is just amazing. I think I twisted mine's head too far though. I think I broke mine eventually. <laughs> I feel like now I just have nothing left to say because I'm just dying of excitement. Okay, let's listen to his voice. I still even remember this. The back pull tab thing to make his voice talk is a black snake. I love that too. Oh my God. <laughs> he sounds kind of like Pee Wee. They get like funny over time. So you have to kind of like let it go. Like, cause you know, when like, I'm the with the hey, he sounds pretty good actually. <laughs> I feel like sometimes you kind of have to let it go slower and then they sound like more normal. Um, that's so creepy. I'm loving it. This is, okay, the head turning action though is what it's all about. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, I literally could just make an entire video with my special Beetlejuice friend. I, oh my God, seriously, okay. Thank you so much, Joanna and Tim. I definitely feel like this was an amazingly fun box. Once again, not just for me to open, but to share with the entire Swamp family. I know, like I said in videos past, that I know you guys have really been enjoying all the nostalgic stuff. If you're my age, you know, we get to like relive it together. Uh, and I feel like there's even like, you know, a cushion of like ages. You don't have to be my age to appreciate this. I feel like there's a lot of people that are like totally down with the 90s aesthetic these days. But, oh my God, this actually reminds me, I keep thinking that I should actually do it for vlogging times uh, to finally make my top 10 favorite movies of all time. <sighs> that makes me think of this Beetlejuice doll. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much. Uh, definitely, I spent so much time on this one box. I'm not gonna open any of the other 90s boxes for right now. So there will at least be one more Swamp Family 90s edition. I know we have at least enough boxes to still do one more um, like special edition like that. But definitely the next one I'm gonna do is just gonna be a regular Swamp Family mail because I don't want you know other people to feel left out if they're not into the whole 90s thing and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, but thank you guys so so much um extra special thank you to joanna and tim again and i don't know i had so much fun with this box today oh my gosh he's my special friend uh but thank you guys so so much for hanging out today and for watching if you're not already and you'd like to be hit that button down below subscribe become a member of the swamp family and give an alligator its wings also if you want you can like me on facebook facebook.com slash graveyard girl or you can follow me on twitter tumblr or instagram at graveyard girl same way it's spelled here i love you guys so so much and i will see y'all tomorrow bye i feel like there was so many of my memories in this box today it's crazy